Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your system.io mailing settings. Because if you don't know this, guys, you cannot create campaign, you cannot send newsletters. Uh, basically, you cannot automate your entire business if you don't do this, right? So it's important that you follow exactly the step that I'm going to show you in this video. That way, you can start uh, creating your campaigns, start automating your business, affiliate marketing business, or it doesn't really matter what kind of business is that. This is the mass step that you need to do for you to get started using the um, automation tool or uh, campaign within system.io, right? So the first requirement, guys, is you need to have a domain, right? Um, I use Google domain, but you can use any kind of you know domain register. But I highly suggest, guys, to use Google domain because you can easily set it up this within google domain you don't need to purchase those mailboxes but just like i said you can yeah if you already have a domain then you can use that your domain register to you know to set up that mailing settings uh mailboxes just purchase one of those mailboxes in this video tutorial i'm going to use uh, google domain because we can easily set it up and this um domain register which is google domains all right so now go ahead guys go to domains.google.com and you know if you wanted to use this purchase your domain and then once you log into your account and this is where you uh, see your you know uh, domain or your account right now the first step is go to your uh, system.io account and then hover over your icon right here and click on settings and then this is where you uh, uh, I need you guys to click on this mailing settings right here. And then this is where you add your domain, all right? Now, you should be able to, to see this uh, set up domain right here, set up domain authentication. Click this one right here. And this is where you add your domain. So, you know, just put in your domain name. In my case, my, my domain is jerdigital.com, but I have already added this. So I just put in like a Z at the end to make it different but it's it's just the same thing all right click on to continue and you should be able to see this uh credentials that are here that system that are provided now you can copy and paste this into your domain register or using google domain all right so follow is exactly the step that way your domain will get approved all right so what you can do guys is copy this right here uh no go back to your domain register or google domain click on dns and then um you see this right here custom records uh click on manage custom records now if you use different uh, domain register it's, it's you know almost the same thing you should be able to create a custom record and then click on create new record right here All right and this is where you add those credentials now go back to your uh, system.io. Now it's important that you don't copy this entire thing, guys. Just copy these first characters right here. Just don't copy your domain because it will automatically uh, pull this off inside of uh, Google Domains. I am not really sure if uh, it's the same thing uh, to other domain register, but basically uh, you need to, you know, um, put this entire information into your domain but basically google you know automatically include the domain domain right here see this right here so i don't need to copy those entire thing so i just need to copy this uh first characters right here and then go back that and then paste that right here and it said change this to c name because it says c name right and then the, the value copy this right here and then paste that right here the value all right now once you've done that guys it's important that you add in a dot at the end of this add in a dot all right and then create a new record again and then just uh do the same same thing copy this entire thing right here just don't copy your domain all right paste that right here and see that it's automatically you know fill this information whole you know uh, credentials right here with my domain and then copy this entire value uh, 
paste, uh, change this in the C name. All right, paste that right here, and then again, copy this entire thing right here. Just don't copy the domain name. Create a new record. Paste that right here. I uh, change the C name and then copy the value. Paste that right there. All right, and that should good to go. So once you copy all those credentials, now click on save right here, and it will automatically save that um, credentials. And then um, it would probably take like you know a, a day or 48 hours before uh, your domain get verified. But if you set it up correctly, you know, sometimes it will just, you know, propagate for like two hours and you should be able to see this verified right here. All right, so once your domain is verified, now I want you guys to create a mail, you know, alias. Now what you can do is, you know, go to uh, email right here. Just leave it this spot. All right, now scroll down a bit. And you should be able to click on this add email alias. Now, what's I really like about Google is that I don't need to purchase a mail access. So, all right, and then you know, put in the um, whatever you know um, email that you wanted to create. So, in this case, I create this one right here, jer at jer jer at digital com. But you can uh, put in like any name or your name, just put it like Jeff or you know uh, John you know you can you can you can put it you can put in anything all right so in this case Jan at you know jerdigital.com and then this is where you put that you know primary email that you wanted to receive as a you know primary email so every time this email right here that you've created um, receive a an email it will then pro forwarded to your primary email so in this case you know I created this you know email right here and it will I created this email right here jerdigital.com and it were forwarded to my primary email which is gmail.com right you can put that uh, gmail address right here all right now once you've done that guys then copy your uh, gmail right here uh, your email that you've created as an alias and then you know uh, you should uh, click on this um, you know send their email address right here paste that right here and then put in your uh, sender name which is your name and then uh, your test email address which is your, your primary email all right and that should good to go so once your um, domain is verified and you set it up this correctly and you've added your alias right here you added this then you can now create a newsletter you can create a campaign and you can automate your entire business with system.io right so it's really important step that you need to do before you start using you know automation campaign within system.io and if you guys use different uh, name servers you already have a domain and you know you don't know how to set that app correctly because I use Google domains with this video tutorial now this should be a right here an article on how to set the app you just click on this you know uh, you know little little thing right here and you should be able to click on article and uh, there should be a you know an article showing you exactly how to do that right here All right just read the article now all right so yeah i think that would be in this video guys you know if you have any questions about this please let me know in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer all the questions that you have and if you guys wanted to learn how i make my first one thousand dollar online without paying per ads without paying per traffic without creating website without creating landing pages often pages none of those mambo jumbo stuff guys there's a link in the description of this video which is the first link i'm gonna send you Personally that video training that you can start using that method and start implementing that method and Start making your first $1,000 online if you don't yet Make that $1,000 online. So I think that would be in this video Thanks so much for watching this video tutorial and I hope to see you in my next video